I can't even imagine the things we'll invent to work with technologies in a completely different and productive way than we've ever even imagined. Medha Galal, SVP of Engineering, Appian. Security is a key value proposition for partners and customers that are building on AWS. And in fact, it is the most important piece of the value proposition. What it means for customers is that they can build generative AI capabilities on AWS using the same security and governance constructs that they know and are familiar with from building any kind of application on AWS. Appian provides a full stack process and local development capabilities for our customers. Uh, that means everything they need from UI to process workflows, human and loop integration, data capabilities, document capabilities, and rule capabilities have to all be provided in one stack, batteries included is what I call it. Which is to say that we rely on Amazon Bedrock to provide those full comprehensive AI capabilities all underneath that stack to power the mission critical applications that our customers do. Between the reliability and the capability and the pervasiveness of what the Bedrock platform provides us, we're able to deliver on those mission critical capabilities, AI needs that the customers want, all in one stack. In order to make generative AI something that's real for customers, it really requires bringing together uh, foundation models with customer data and doing so in a secure environment and scaling out applications that service customers requires reliability and security and global scale and the other value propositions of AWS. So you cannot simply bring a proof of concept into production, a proof of concept to move into production needs to be deployed in a secure and reliable environment, an environment where businesses can build and deploy generative AI applications at scale in ways that actually bring value to end customers. One of the areas that has been moving incredibly fast, uh, both from the old deep learning capabilities all the way now to multimodal generative AI capabilities is intelligent document processing. Lots of our customers are in highly regulated space. There's customer onboarding and banking, insurance underwriting, pharma, prescription ingestion, prescription generation, uh, claims processing and approval. They're all documents, and they all come from scanned versions, they come in pictures, they come in PDF, and they come multi-format. Typically, humans have to read these documents and copy-paste that information. With generative AI, we've been able to take it to a completely new level of accuracy, where it's part generative AI, but it is certainly controlled at the process level. They get to decide when they want to move a process along. They get to decide and control if the AI has generated the right information. And they get to comply with the regulation that the human has approved this document to be further processed. That's very important to provide the customer those um, two or three or four capabilities from development all the way to business process, all in one platform has been a game changer for us. One of Appian's uh, largest insurance underwriting companies has been able to increase the accuracy of uh, uh, policy underwriting code slips extractions from in the mid 50% range to 90% thanks to generative AI powered by Bedrock. Um, the multimodal capabilities that are offered through that platform allowed us to work with the customer very closely to figure out the complexity of these documents. These are not templated documents. They come in so many variations they cannot control. They're shrinking the insurance underwriting process from them, uh, for them uh, from maybe days to minutes with that level of accuracy has been a game changer for them um, that they they perceive will actually save them millions of dollars. For customers that are building use cases with sensitive information, the most important aspects of deploying a generative AI solution are really around trustworthiness, which includes the security and privacy of a customer's information. And AWS has a number of constructs that enable a customer to have a secure and trustworthy experience with generative AI. AWS's approach has really been built from the ground up to enable businesses to bring generative AI experiences all the way into production. And this is the year where I think we're gonna see a lot of customers move from that proof of concept phase into a value generating application that they bring to their end customers. Where we see this going is, is a, a new area of investment called Appian Composer, which is a much higher abstraction layer. Imagine just as you interact with uh, 
the prompt. You give it a requirement, build me a healthcare approval application, and we will build the entire app here, soup to nuts, process to data to rules, um, all at your fingertips that you can see the artifacts of the application being born right before your eyes. And then as a business user and an app and developer, you get to validate, is this the right construct for the application I want to build? And you're able to increase the speed way beyond 20x to build those applications. So that security um, kind of table stake and then the speed of development all the way to production use is something we shrink and make happen for our customers in days by virtue of our partnership versus weeks or months that they would otherwise have to bring to bear on their own. If you think about the evolution curve in the last one year versus the last 50 years, it's been exponential. And if you think about how we've interacted with technology over the last 50 years, you know, if computers were here and humans were here, we invented techniques, languages, devices, screens to get ourselves a little closer to where the machine is. Now, when you have AI that is able to bring the machine a little closer to where we are, we've evolved just on language and communication, written, verbal, or otherwise. The fact that it can bring the machine closer means all of these intermediate devices, all of these inventions that we made, become obsolete. And then I can't even imagine the things we'll invent to work with technologies in a completely different and productive way than we've ever even imagined. There's a lot that goes into bringing a generative AI-powered experience to customers at scale. And it's a lot more than just using a foundation model uh, or even fine-tuning or training a model or bringing data to a model in a prompt. There's a lot that goes into producing an environment that is reliable and secure and architecting a solution that is going to continue to be available for customers under a variety of real-world conditions uh, and protect sensitive customer data. AWS's approach has really been built from the ground up to enable businesses to bring generative AI experiences all the way into production. I think we're gonna see a lot of customers actually go and, and do that and move from that proof of concept phase into a value generating application that they bring to their end customers. We are really at that moment and AWS's approach holistically is enabling businesses to do that for their customers.